Mary and Joseph were a young couple who was arranged to be married by their parents. They spent a lovely afternoon together getting to know one another and it was now coming to an end. It was very nice meeting you today, Mary. Oh, dear Joseph. I know. I cannot be so lucky to have been arranged to marry such a lovely man like you. We will live together in peace and harmony in the future. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, Mary. Dear God, beloved and most holy, Thank you for making today such a wonderful day spent with Joseph. I love you, great God, and please help me make the right decisions in our marriage and be ever so faithful to the king, to you, the king. Please, dear Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is. Mary. Oh my God. Do not be afraid. I'm the angel Gabriel sent from God. What have I done wrong? Nothing. You have done nothing wrong, Mary. I was sent down from heaven to give you this important message. You will be having a baby. A baby boy. He will be named Jesus, the Son of God. Well, what am I supposed to do now? I'm pregnant. With God's baby boy. Jesus. Whom shall I have helped me take care of him? Joseph. You're pregnant? Yes, Joseph. Yes, I am. But not with a man. I will be bearing the son of man. The Son of God. Please, Joseph, believe me. I am ever so faithful to you, my future husband. But you need to support me. I, I am pregnant with God's child. Mary, if this is true, we will get married and raise this baby together. Because you will need all the help you can get. Oh, Joseph! <sighs> so they did. Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem for a census. While Mary was very close to the end of her pregnancy, she could not walk. So she rode on a donkey all the way to the town. Hello. Welcome to the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, my wife and I need a place to stay. She's very pregnant and we need to get some sleep. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you, chap. But... What I can do is set you up in a stable behind my hotel. There you guys can stay, although the animals are around there. And that's all I can help you with. We're completely full. Okay. Mary, is that all right with you? Well, Joseph, it's better than staying out here in the freezing cold. At least we'll have some hay to keep us warm. Okay. Thank you, sir. We'll take it. All right, it's just all back. Good luck. Well, this is where it is, Mary. This'll do just fine. I just hope that I don't have my baby right now. All right, Mary. Well, you get all snuggled up, I'll go try to find a blanket in the inn. Okay, Joseph. Have fun. Well, sorry, Mary. I guess the innkeeper's sleeping. He didn't answer the door. Jo jo Joseph, I think it's time! Mary, what? Back away, animal! Alright, Mary. Mary. Oh, 
push, come on, push. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay, Mary. Mary, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, breathe. Okay, 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 Mary. It's a beautiful baby boy. Here, Mary, we'll put him in this manger. Oh, he's wonderful. I love you, Jesus. Name's Jesus? Yes. His name's Jesus. I told you that a long time ago. Oh. He's beautiful. He's the son of man. He's Jesus. And so Jesus was born. But that is not the end of our story. There are three men traveling from afar, as well as shepherds in the fields coming to the stable to meet the new king. Hello, my name is Bobbert. My name's Minuscule. My name is Albert. And we are the three wise men. Har, har, har. We've brought your beloved son three gifts. For I've brought him frankincense. I brought him myrrh. And I have brought him gold. Ooh, such lovely gifts for such a beautiful little boy. But why? Why must I ask you? Why did you bring my son such extravagant gifts? For we are a love, lovely, harmonious family who does not need such fine things in life. But please, please, just tell me why you brought them. Well, Mary, we brought them because your son is a king. The king of the world. The king who belongs to God. The king who belongs to us. He will lead us through the night. The he king, will, the king, he will, the king, he the king. Will. Well, thank you for that lovely production and the gifts. I guess this is our son's lucky night, Joseph. Well, would you guys like to join us in our stable for the night? Since I'm sure you've got no place to stay. We would love to. Alright, just make yourselves comfortable. The animals are very friendly. Oh, what a lovely night it is. Are you almost done eating, sheep? Are you almost Who are, who are 
for God. I'm here to tell you that a Messiah was born in a stable today. And you're supposed to visit him, for he is the king of God. So follow the yonder star, and it'll lead you right to the manger where the baby boy lay. <laughs> you got oh. this. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was, those are good days, man. <laughs> Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, who are you? I'm a shepherd. I was sent by an angel. An angel? An angel. Oh. So, so you're new here. Yes. Well, you're welcome to stay with us. This is my son, Jesus. So I've been told. Yes, come on in. Do, 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 do. Wait, it's not the end. For I am Jesus, and I love everybody. Go, go, ga, ga. Jesus, oh Jesus, alleluia, praises on high, for this is our Christmas miracle, let it ring to the heavens. Jesus Christ was born on this day, let it go down in history. But this is still not the end. For Jesus lived a maximum of 30 years, but his death is a different story to be told. Thank you for watching our production of Christ. <laughs>